and gentlemen, it is now time for our co-main event of the evening. And it is for the 125 pound Muay Thai Championship. Introducing first, fighting at the Dynamic Mortgage Concepts Red Corner, please welcome Anel Dudo. Dude. 125 pound title on the line here. Have you called every event, JR? Uh, every Colorado. My goodness. Wow. What a great 10 year. I was trying to figure out the last time I was 125 pounds. I was a junior in high school. Ah, my birth weight. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Dudo wearing the Muay Thai fighter shirt. Coming from a good gym as well. A couple fighters on the card last night in boxing. The boxing card we got here in Arapahoe County Fairgrounds. I like the venue, JR. It's a, it, yes, it is a nice venue, for sure. Close to my house, too. <laughs> I love that. You had a little uh, little trip today. You guys uh, saw a lot know, of Denver. Just put some miles on the car. There you go. <laughs> Well, the last four or five fights have been out. Really, the entire card has been a good card. I don't think, see any way that uh, that does not continue with two fights left. Here's the co-main event. Definitely a great way to close it out. Uh, flying front kick to win a fight by knockout. Uh, that's going to be a great way to end the year for sure. Somebody uh, up for some up year awards right there. And Archie Colgan with the knockout of the night, man, a knee buckler. Wow. And his opponent, fighting out of Larry H. Miller Auto Group Blue Corner, featuring Chrysler Dodge Ram Fiat on Havana and Nissan on Arapahoe. Please welcome Chino Dean. Chino Dean. On his way to the cage to see if he can't win himself a title. I like the fact that it's been such a, you know, love MMA. Nice to have kickboxing, Muay Thai mixed in. I mean, it gives us a little bit of flavor. And there Absolutely. you see the garb. Love the garb. Serious. Definitely a focused look on the uh, mug of Chino. Yeah, the demeanor of Mr. D. All right, here's the tail of the tape. Quite a bit of age difference in this one. You know, Dean with the life experience. Dudo has the height experience by two inches. And Dudo, primarily we've seen him in MMA. That one and one record is reflective of his Muay Thai experience. And Mr. Dean, four and two. This himself strictly as a Muay Thai fighter. And again, here we talked about it, the crossover between MMA, Muay Thai, or MMA kickboxing. There is a difference to it. And you got to be able to train both and, and use them at the same time. I'm always amazed that the fighters, when you're in the motion of a fight, JR, are able to maintain your cool, maintain your thought process of what's legal and what's not. Yeah, it's pretty extensive training. And here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, this Muay Thai Championship bout is brought to you by Saratoga Casino Blackhawk. Let's meet our fighters first. Fighting at the Dynamic Mortgage Concepts Red Corner, representing the nation of Bosnia and Herzegovina, and representing a family affair boxing. Anel, the silent assassin, Dudo. Second fighter from Bosnia and Herzegovina. And his opponent, fighting at the Larry H. Miller Auto Group Blue Corner, featuring Chrysler Dodge Ram Fiat on Havana and Nissan on Arapahoe. From California, Maryland, representing Easton Training Center, Chino D. California, Maryland. Huh. Come on over, fighter. Presented two states at once. Gentlemen, you have your <laughs> final instruction. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Any questions? Questions? Touch them up. Back to your corners. And away we go, 125 pound title fight action here at Sparta, 78. Anel Dudo and Chino Dean. Dudo, Dudo. with the red gloves, yep. Dean with the blue. 
And Dudo always a fast starter in his fights. And Dean looking like he's ready to meet that pace. Well, there's a strap on the line too, JR, so you gotta give it everything you got for these three rounds. Locking up and going for those knees. Both guys able to land a good flurry. Battle against the cage, a lot of work on hip positioning here. These guys trying to turn each other. Gudo looks like he may have a little bit of strength, but you gotta look at the fact that Dean was able to turn the tables there. Gudo tried to come through with a crossing elbow there. Skipped over the top of the head of Dean. Over the leg kicks, then going upstairs, kind of burying that attack. A lot of in-close fighting in Muay Thai, JR. And as long as there's action, they're gonna, referee will let him go. And referee Oscar Martinez, a ton of Muay Thai experience. He runs the Muay Thai Academy and is a former fighter himself. So he understands the intricacies of what's going on in the clinch there. Dino, Dean able to get those knees going. He's been repetitive with those knees. That's his game plan coming in. 35 ticks left in this opening round. Working fast, going for some elbows inside to the body. It was Dudo in the corner of Dean calling for a spiking elbow. Dudo kind of searching for and trying to find an opening there and Dean not giving it to him yet. Dean the aggressor. Good counter left, check hook. Front Thro kick just crazy. Or Dudo, excuse me. Dudo starting to come on at the end of this round, JR. Great pace by both these guys. Exciting first round. First round in the books. Title fight, strap on the line. A lot of clinch work. That's very exhausting work. And Dudo bent over, gasping for air in his corner. No, oh, excuse me, he's looking down at his corner man. I was gonna say that's unusual for as well conditioned as he is, but he was uh, taking instruction. Checking out the Larry H. Miller replay here. Able to initiate the clinch as Dudo then breaks it off. It'll be interesting to see here in the second round as you go, listen, two minutes doesn't seem like a long time, but when you're from Maryland, down around sea level, so we'll see what happens as the fight goes on. Yes, indeed. Little Aerosmith in the background. Gotta like that. Like it. This is Tyler. Watched him fall off stage in Sturgis Did you? one year, yeah. Two songs into the concert, kind of ruined the show. Oh, that's a bummer. <laughs> I saw him it up was. in Frontier Days the last time. Nice. All right, Chino Dean in the blue gloves and Dudo in the red. Referee Oscar Martinez making sure the padding, padded equipment is in place. And away we go round two, title fight. Both fighters coming out strong in this one. And Dudo coming out hard with some knees and punches, JR. Threw that head kick up nice at the end of that combination. Be first or be last, and Dudo did both on that one, and that was, uh, that was an illegal takedown style technique. What happened is he stepped across the front of his opponent, very much like a judo throw. Right. That is not okay in Muay Thai. Certain types of takedowns are, as we talked about earlier, but that one, no sir. Dean got in trouble, what did he do? He came inside and went to those knees again, JR. Seeing some blood there, trying to figure out where it's coming from. Really nice clinch fighting game being shown by Dean a moment ago. He landed a really solid elbow strike. And again, we're seeing the elbow pads needing to be adjusted here. Not doing much good if it's down around the forearm. No. And I, th I think the blood is coming from, from Dean. Dean the aggressor. More really good knee strikes by both fighters. These two just so well schooled in the clinch. And make no mistake about it, this is one of the most brutally draining aspects of fighting that there is, is clinch fighting. Clinch fighting, you're using your upper body, you're using your lower body to get those knees up there. Every bit of energy that you have is being used. Trying to be offensive, having to be defensive. It's really just a grueling place to be. The clinch, no place to rest. Close fight right now, 30 seconds left in this second round. 
Dudo doing a little work from outside. Uh, low blow there by Dudo. And you're right, there is blood coming out of the mouth and or nose of Dean. He's on the receiving end of that illegal, albeit accidental, low blow. Back to action we go. First one of the fight. Turning back, Turning back kick. kick. Showed it as a back fist, turned it into a kick, targeting the liver. Dudo Nicely right now is getting, Dudo. Dudo's getting the better shots right now, JR. And Dean, again, turns it into a clinch fight where he does some very nice work. Oh, and a elbow short right across. and a big right to the stomach. Yeah, that short right was action elbow strike. And Dudo, Dudo coming upstairs. Doing some damage. Landed the right hand, then came up with the head kick. Very nice strike selection Seconds by Dudo. Are out. There we go, gotta hear the bell there, wow. Uh, that was at zeros for a while, JR. Good work by Dudo in that round, and he's taking a breather, he needs it. Yes. Wow. Both these guys really expending a ton of energy. Seeing the flurry here on the Larry H. Miller Nissan replay. And wow, so much time in the clinch is so draining. And then from the outside this round, Dudo did some very nice work as well, measuring his punches. Wow. Good elbow shown there by Dudo. And then comes back with the hooks to the body. I'm really impressed with the strike selection of Dudo this evening. He's really seeing his targets and nicely mixing his strikes. Certainly won that second round with that flurry at the end, JR. Six, seven, eight strikes. Have a timeout here. Let the doc take a look at the fighter. See if it's the, uh, I think there's a cut over the right eyebrow of Dean. Dr. Alex Constantinita says, let him fight. Says, good to go. Just a little blood. Rub some dirt on it. That's right. All right, here we go. Rub See if the third round can do what the second round was, man. Wow. wow. Dudo. Dudo comes out firing hard and fast. Slip. Dudo's going to try to finish this. Definitely throwing him flurries, and Dean, as we've seen time and again, when he gets in some trouble, initiates a clinch where he does such nice work. Dean is really scoring on the outside. Every punch that he seems to land, anytime that there's distance, Dudo has the advantage, JR. Good elbows inside, shown by uh, Dudo. Now, Dudo's looking well-rounded in this fight. He's gotten stronger as the fight's gone on. Yeah, his conditioning really paying dividends. Dean right now just taking a shot. He crumples to the ground. That's going to be an eight count. Referee was stepping in to give him an eight count anyway, and then Dudo got one more shot in, and that was able to drop Dean. Hey, give it up to Dean. Dean's ready to roll. A tough fighter. 50 seconds left. Dean comes out, throws a front kick, gets back oh, at it. Oh, and another crushing elbow by Dudo. Really nice job with the elbow strikes tonight. And the spinning, spinning back el elbow yeah. by Dudo. That spinning back elbow could be lethal. Dudo just pounding away right now. That's it. It's over. Referee it's over. Oscar Martinez steps in, says that is enough. Congratulations to the Family Affair boxer. Fighter Mr. Anel Dudo goes home with the 125 pound title. Furious action in both the second round, JR. He got stronger as the fight went, and all of his blows were meaningful. Nothing was thrown without a purpose. Checking things out on the replay here. Dudo in several of the flurries in round three. Really able to put the elbows together, using them as a very, very effective striking weapon. Right there, you yeah. saw that right elbow. 
And listen, that may be short a distance, JR, but the force that you have with that elbow, even from a short distance, can really jostle you. You saw that spinning back elbow, too. Take it up to Big Mo. He'll give us the official word. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Martinez calls a stop to this contest at 1 minute 33 seconds of the third and final round. Declaring your winner by TKO and the new Sparacom Mad League 125 pound Muay Thai champion, Anel, the silent assassin, Dudo. Dudo with a dude tonight, JR. Yes, indeed. Gets to take that uh, belt home to a family affair of boxing. Congratulations. We'll see him in the post fight interview with Bailey Winters after we get a word from our sponsors. Back for the main event. All right, I'm here now with your new 125 pound Muay Thai champion, Anel Dudo. How do you feel? I feel pretty great, to be honest. I thought I could do better, but yeah, I feel great, though. <laughs> it was a very exciting fight. I'd call that fight of the night so far. What was your game plan going out there tonight? Uh, to be honest, I wanted to knock him out with a kick, but that didn't go out right. So I just started doing my boxing and just started doing elbows, just going with the flow, you know? You can, yeah. You guys were working a lot in the clinch against the cage, throwing some knees, working in a few elbows. But you were you you kind of outstruck him with the boxing a little bit. Was that how you saw the fight going today? Yeah, mostly and with my elbows. I knew that I mean I'm the best in Colorado for 125 in Muay Thai, boxing, MMA. Nobody can touch me and I can keep proving it over and over as I go back in there. Nobody can put me down. They can either probably win by split, but they can't beat me. I'm the number one in Colorado and I hope this proves it. And I'm waiting for anybody else out there that wants me, I'll take you on. So Aaron Lopez won his fight tonight. He called out that 125 pound belt. What do you think about that matchup? No offense, but that dude ain't ready for me. <laughs> I'll take him on, man. Great fight tonight. I'm sure there's some people that you want to thank. Oh uh, yeah, I definitely want to thank my AFA family. You guys have been there for me since the beginning. I want to thank my coaches, Fidel. Even though they said you couldn't be in my corner, I still showed up. I still had your love behind my back and I still did it for you, coach. I love you, coach. I love my teammates, Esteban, Coach Baca. I love my team. I love Jared. I love you all and my family and the fans and the support you guys have for me. And we wouldn't be here without God. So I want to thank God, the Lord. And that'll be it. Thank you, guys. Have a good one. God bless. Great fight tonight. Congratulations on your win. Good job. What's up guys? This is Big Mo with Sparta Sports and Entertainment and I want to take a quick moment to tell you about our brand new membership program launching in 2020. You see, with all things VIP, Sparta defers to me. Which is why I want to give you premium offers to some of our partners like Saratoga Casino Blackhawk, Larry H. Miller Chrysler Dodge Ram Fiat on Havana and Nissan on Arapaho. This program also grants you access to three live events and so much more. This is your opportunity to be in the front row of everything that we have to offer. And this is also your chance to join me and get low.